So I just got back from TwitchCon and first of all, thank you to the over a hundred people that came up to me to say hi. I literally spent the first two days just taking photos with people. I was so busy that I totally missed the big Twitch announcement. We are allowing simulcasting on any live streaming service. Also, Kick can suck my big, fat, juicy c You can stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, no matter if you're an affiliate, partner, whoever. Everyone can multi-stream. Real talk, I've just been telling you guys to break your contract for years, but now you can do that without committing a federal crime. And so I've been asked by so many people, what exactly is the best method to do that? So in this video, I'll be comparing all the different ways that you can multi-stream, but also how you can combine Twitch chat and YouTube chat into a single stream of messages. And then finally, the question I get asked the most, how you can still retain the Twitch VOD track feature. We've got a lot to cover, so I don't want to waste your time but I will anyway. Don't you ever spend full price for Windows. You can get a full Windows 10 Pro key for as little as $16 using today's sponsor, VIP SCD Keys. I've been using them on all of my PCs for years and all my keys are still working. You just add Windows 10 to your cart, pay using a secure payment method like PayPal, and then use my code NUTTY at checkout and that will knock down the price to $16. Oh, and by the way, those keys can also be upgraded to Windows 11 for free but they also have Windows 11 keys for $22, if that's easier for you. Then after that, they'll send you a Windows activation key. You just go into your settings, paste in the key, and you're done. Your watermark is gone forever. Okay, so first method, and actually my top recommendation, is to use the website Restream.io. Now, before anyone says anything, yes, Restream is free. No, you're not gonna have any watermarks in your stream, and no, it's not gonna make your quality worse. I know you've read otherwise and heard otherwise in other people's videos. <coughs> you post Fox, I love you dude, but you were wrong in that video. Um, yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Let me explain how Restream even works first. Restream.io is a relay service. So instead of streaming directly to Twitch or directly to YouTube, you stream to Restream servers and then they will redirect your stream to all of the other platforms that you want. I've already made a full video on Restream.io. You can check it out up here, but it's really easy to set up. You just go to Restream.io, log in, choose all of the platforms that you want to stream to. And then in OBS, instead of selecting Twitch as your streaming service, you're gonna select Restream in the dropdown box. And that's it, it's really that simple. Now, I know that sounds too good to be true. And yes, there is one big caveat, and that is the free tier will only allow you to stream to two platforms at once. But for most people, you probably only wanna stream on Twitch and YouTube, and Restream.io supports that for free, just fine. Now the cool thing is Restream just mirrors your stream. So the quality is exactly the same as if you stream to just one platform. There's virtually no added delay, at least that I can notice. And as far as your computer is concerned, your computer thinks you're only streaming to one platform. So your CPU doesn't have to do any extra work. It's as if you were streaming to just Twitch or just YouTube. And that also means you only have one upstream. So you don't even need a faster network connection to multi-stream with this method. Now to address the watermark issue, because I've read so many people on Twitter who think that Restream adds a watermark. Even Epos Fox says in his video that you need to pay to get rid of the watermark. And I don't blame you guys for thinking that because it literally says on the website that the watermark is part of the free tier. Why did my camera turn off? But that watermark only applies to Restream Studio, which is a totally different thing that you don't have to worry about. That's more for corporate people. If you're streaming directly from OBS, you won't have a watermark. In the Restream preview thing on the website, it'll show a watermark there, but then if you actually go to your stream, you won't actually see the watermark. And to test this, I actually made a brand new account, tested it to Twitch and YouTube, there was no watermark. I promise you they aren't gonna add that in there. It's more expensive for them to add the watermark than for the watermark to just not be there. Just to prove my point, I'm using a brand new Restream account and I'm streaming on Twitch and on YouTube, neither one of them have any Just watermarks at point. all. I'm using now there are some downsides to using Restream. Number one, Restream doesn't support every single platform. So if you wanna to stream to a platform that isn't supported by Restream, 
well then you're screwed. But the other thing, which is I think both the biggest upside as well as the biggest downside is that you can't stream at different qualities to different platforms. And what I mean by that is, let's just say you wanna stream at 4K to YouTube, but have a lower quality 720p stream for Twitch. Well, you're not able to do that with Restream because Restream just redirects your stream to each platform. So that means they're both gonna have the exact same quality. Stream does have a service to transcode your video, but that, is definitely paid and is prohibitively expensive. So I would say for the vast majority of you guys, you're probably not going to want to use Restream if you want different qualities for your different streams. But this is where the second method comes in and that's to use the multi RTMP plugin for OBS. What this plugin does is instead of using a relay service to mirror your stream, it just lets you stream directly to the platforms that you want. And this has a couple of really neat advantages. Number one, you can stream at different qualities to different platforms without having to pay for it. So you can stream to YouTube 4K, Twitch at 720p, totally fine. And number two, you're not just limited to two platforms. You can stream to as many platforms as your computer can handle. The downside is if you're gonna stream to Twitch and YouTube, you're gonna have to double your network bandwidth or triple it if you're gonna stream to a third platform. Also, if you wanna have different quality settings for Twitch and YouTube, then you need to have a stronger PC now because you have to encode your stream twice for each of the different platforms. But just to be clear, if you plan to stream at the same quality to multiple platforms, then that part isn't an issue because you can use the same encode for each of your different streams. I'll leave a link down below for where you can download the plugin. It's pretty straightforward. You just download the installer, run it and relaunch OBS. You should see a new dock. So if you click on add target, this is where you can add your secondary platforms that you want to stream on. And here you can just fill in your stream key and your OBS settings that you're already familiar with. I'd recommend checking the sync start with OBS so that when you hit the start streaming button in OBS, it will also start your secondary stream automatically. Now the methods I've shown thus far, which is restream.io and the multi RTMP plugin for OBS, both have another downside, which is all of your streams are gonna look exactly the same. So if you wanna have different layouts for maybe YouTube and a different layout for Twitch, well, you can't do that with these methods. And this becomes a big problem when you're streaming to platforms like TikTok, because TikTok uses a vertical aspect ratio, and most of you guys probably stream using a horizontal aspect ratio. So wouldn't it be great if you could stream different scenes to different platforms? Maybe you could build up a separate scene that's in like a vertical format, that goes just to TikTok, and then your regular horizontal scenes go directly to Twitch. That's where Atom Vertical comes in. Now, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Atom Vertical before, because that Harold dude uh, talks about it all the time. But this adds a second vertical canvas in OBS. And what you can do with this is you can create scenes that are in a vertical format just for TikTok. You can even link your regular scenes in OBS to your vertical scenes on the vertical canvas so that when you change scenes in one of them, it automatically changes scenes in the other one. But this is where it gets really cool. So it turns out you can just change the resolution of your second vertical canvas to a normal 16 by nine layout and then use that to stream to YouTube. That way you can stream to Twitch and YouTube using totally separate layouts. So maybe your Twitch stream will only have Twitch alerts and Twitch chat and your YouTube stream will only have YouTube chat and YouTube alerts. But those are the three different methods that I would recommend to stream to multiple platforms. Pick whichever one suits your needs. I would say for the vast majority of people, you can use restream.io. It doesn't use extra load on your PC. You don't need a faster internet connection. The multi RTMP plugin is good if you want to stream to more than two different platforms or stream to different platforms using different quality settings. And Atom Vertical is good if you want to stream to a platform like TikTok or if you wanna to stream to multiple platforms using different layouts. Now there's still a couple questions left that you might wanna consider. Now the first one is Twitch VOD tracks. Now Twitch has a really cool and unique feature that no other platform has where you can send out two separate audio tracks 
and one of them will be used for your live stream, but the second track will be used for your VODs. So the idea is that if you happen to play copyrighted music while you're live, it's only going to show in that live stream and not in your VOD when you're done streaming. Method two does allow you to use that VOD track feature. So the way it works is you'd stream to Twitch the way that you normally would in OBS, and that will give you access to the VOD track feature. Then if you're gonna stream to a platform like YouTube, you would add that as your secondary platform. This audio mixer dropdown is what you wanna change. Initially, you can't change it, but if you change the encoder to FFmpeg, then you can set it to track two or whatever your VOD track is. Now, I would highly recommend that if you're gonna do this for YouTube, that you manually set your YouTube track to use that second VOD track because uh, YouTube is a lot more aggressive with copyright. If you're caught playing music on your live stream, they'll just like cut your stream right away. So if you've set up track two as your VOD track, then make sure that when you've added YouTube as your secondary platform, that you actually select track two for the YouTube stream. And I believe you can do a similar sort of setup using Atom Vertical, although don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure about that. Finally, what about combining chats? Because now that you're streaming on multiple platforms, well, now you have to keep track of messages coming from multiple different streams. There's a few tools out there that can take messages coming from multiple platforms and then combine them into a single stream of messages. So it looks like just one window and is way easier to keep track of. Restream.io has their own tool and you can use that tool even if you're not gonna be using Restream.io to do your multi-streaming. So you can combine the multi-RTMP plugin, but then still use the Restream.io chat program. Another one I'm hearing a lot of good things about is social stream, but they both work pretty much the same. So they take messages coming from Twitch and YouTube, combine it into one stream of messages, and then they actually add an icon next to each message so that you know as a streamer where the messages are coming from. And Restream's tool even has a feature called Chat Relay where it will literally take messages coming from YouTube and then post them in Twitch chat for you so that your viewers can see all the messages too. And of course it works the other way around as well. Just note that technically Twitch put in a clause that forbids you from combining chats from other platforms because they're all insecure and they need to be like the most important platform. But also note, that they can eat my asshole because I'm gonna just do it anyway. Anyway, yeah, I hope that answers all your questions about multi-streaming. Go share this video with all your streamer friends. I'm trying to be uh, important and that will help out a lot. Also, I just bought a huge pallet of gaming monitors and now my credit card is maxed out. So I want you guys to pay for it with ad revenue. We got Patreon too. So I've released some of my own custom made widgets that you can download and add to your stream like my Ocarina of Time widget that I made and everyone was talking about it on Twitter a couple months ago. Anyway, yeah, go have fun with that. Um, I'm gonna go now. Why don't you consider following me? Not in real life, that's creepy. I mean like in social media, like on Twitch. I go live like three nights a week and it would be cool if I had more viewers as a result of making this video. Thanks, I'll see you next time.